And greetings, everyone, and welcome to this week's Morning Musings. My name is Nathan Aswell, and as usual, it's my great pleasure to be with you today. For those of you joining me for the first time, this very beautiful and unusual instrument I'm playing is called the Chapman Stick. And hang on a sec. Funny little memory popped up, a funny, funny little message popped up in the way there between you and I, so I said to get rid of that. Anyway, as I was saying, this instrument is called the Chapman Stick, and if you'd like to learn more about it, uh, please visit the website at Stick Enterprises. Very simple to remember, stick.com, S-T-I-C-K dot com. So here we are, the last Wednesday in February, and for those of you who haven't been with me before, I've been exploring the theme of surrender. Actually, I'm exploring the theme of surrender this whole year. That's my word for 2021. And within this year, this month, I've been exploring strength and its relationship to surrender. So this is my fourth chant this month about strength. And this one is about surrender, strength, and receptivity, or flexibility. As usual, there were a couple of quotes that I found which really inspired me on these themes. And the first one is a Japanese proverb, which is, The bamboo that bends is stronger than the oak that resists. Love that. The bamboo that bends is stronger than the oak that resists. And the second one, um, I consulted the I Ching. For those of you who are not familiar with the I Ching, it's, um, it's a Chinese way of um, getting insight, I suppose, like people would draw runes or like they would draw tarot cards. Just something to inspire them. And so the second... Uh, um, I'm sorry, but hexagram, that's the word. The second hexagram in the I Ching is K apostrophe U-N, that's Kun or Kun, the receptive. And this is uh, trans. Uh, what I'm about to read to you is from uh, Brian Brown Walker's book on the I Ching. Bear with things as the earth bears with us by yielding, by accepting, by nourishing. This is a time to follow rather than lead, to assist rather than initiate, to listen rather than talk. This fundamental hexagram serves as a strong encouragement to you to concentrate on your capacities to nourish, to support, to accept, to work without desiring recognition, to follow the guidance of the sage. So I took those two quotes and I created a very simple chant which I call the bamboo that bends. And as I'm fond of doing, this is a two-part chant, meaning there are just two very simple melodies that work against the same chord progression. I'll just be alternating back and forth. And if you like to sing, I invite you to sing with me. Or you can sing against me, meaning you can sing the first part while I'm singing the second part and vice versa. They both work together. Or, as I always say, if you feel more comfortable to just receive the music or just listen, whatever way you would like to receive this, be a part of this. I invite you to do that now. And so here's a fun little drum pattern that I found to go with this. And the words are, the bamboo that bends is stronger than the oak that resists. The second part is time to listen rather than talk. That's the whole thing. So when you get comfortable, I hope you join it. The bamboo that bears 
you to just sit with that with me for a few minutes. What would that be like if we were to allow ourselves to be receptive, to be flexible, to surrender, not in a way that means giving up? What would that feel like? What would it feel like to be that receptive? What would it be like to listen rather than talk? Let's just sit with that for a few minutes together.
Let's sing again. Thank you very much for joining me today, dear friend. I hope that this musing, this chant has inspired you and will carry you through your week. Love and blessings to you on your journey. Thanks for being here. I hope to see you next week. And I'm very happy to say that as of next week, Morning Musings will be carried by the New Thought Media Network. Uh, Robert Brzezinski is a man with a vision. He's just interested in um, having people with... Uh, my kind of energy, and there are many of us, uh, to introduce us to a wider world and to also help promote his um, his network. So I look forward to that change. It'll still be at the same time, Wednesdays at 10, but the format will be a little different. In any case, I hope to see you then. And in the meantime, I hope you have a wonderful week. Namaste.